Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, a station where you watch and learn. I'm your tutor, Philaris TV. Today we're going to look at English from 1, lesson 5. Our topic will be on listening and speaking. And our subtopic will be focused on riddles. And so we'll begin by expecting that at the end of the lesson, you as a learner should be able to define a riddle, describe what sessions or the steps involved in a riddle, instead the functions of a riddle. And so what can we, how can we define a riddle? We'll say a riddle is a question, a statement, a description, or a sound that requires interpretations. And we can say riddles use language in a special way to comment on the things in the environment. They are performed to children or when children are playing, working, or when they need to busy themselves. Or at times, we can say riddles are performed to cool down the mood of children before maybe a storytelling process. Uh, in the riddling process, we have six steps which are involved in a riddle, and we're going to list them with an example of a riddle. We've said we have six steps involved in riddling process, and the first step will begin with, we have the challenger introducing the riddle. The challenger introducing the riddle, it's not the riddle itself, but the challenger is going to call out the proposal to, is going to call out on the riddle, for example, the challenger will say, riddle, riddle. And in the second in the second stage, we are going to have the audience accepting the riddle. This consists of the response by the audience accepting the riddle, which will be riddle come. And the third step is where we are going to have the challenger calling out the riddle itself. For example, we have our riddle as, when I speak, the whole world hears. That is the third step where the challenger calls out the riddle. In the fourth stage is where we have the guesses. This consists of the attempts by the audience to unravel the riddle. In this stage, the audience are going to try to give out the answer to the riddle post by, by the challenger. For example, the audience are giving an example such as teachers, the president, or the speaker, or anything. In this stage of the the fourth stage where the audience are trying to guess or to give the attempts by the audience, if they do not go they get the answer, we're going to the fifth stage, which consists of the challenger demanding a prize in case the audience did not get the answer. And if the audience did not get the answer, that means the challenger is going to demand a prize which can be a thing, a place or service. It can also be imaginary depending on, uh, it depends on the challenger. And in the fifth part, if the audience were unable to get the answer, we're going to the sixth stage. And in the sixth stage, for example, maybe, uh, sorry, for example, in the fifth stage, uh, the challenger is demanding for two free nights at Grand Agency Hotel. And in the sixth stage where the answer is being unraveled to the audience, the challenger will take the prize. But if the audience were able to give the answers, the riddle will end at the fifth stage. But because the audience were unable to give the answers at the fifth stage, it means at the sixth stage, the solution to the riddle is given as the challenger receives the prize. And the answer to our riddle was the answer can be a radio, a TV, or an in the internet. We're going to look at the characteristics of riddle. And the first one is that it requires two people to complete. In this case, we have the challenger and the audience. These are, group of, these are a set of two groups, the challenger and the audience. We have the challenger calling out the riddle and the audience accepting the riddle and all that. Secondly, we can say they are brief. They are brief because they are, all, they are drawn from the environment. Or they are brief because they are very short, for example, we can have an example such as my house, uh, my house has no door, very brief. They are performed by children. Most of the riddles are performed or they are performed by children or to children to calm their mood, to busy them or to, to help them meditate within the environment. 
they have a formula of performance. The formula includes calling out riddle, riddle, and their audience accepting riddle come. They are formed from observation of features of the environment. Most riddles are drawn from the environment in which the children live. They are metaphorical. They are metaphorical because they require the, la the children to, to be very, they require the children to be thankful about the environment and things that are found within the environment to answer to the puzzle posed by this challenger. We're going to look at the functions of riddles. They're used for entertainment. Most of the riddles are used to entertain children before, the, maybe when their mothers are cooking or when they need to busy themselves, they're used for entertainment to keep them awake. Uh, they're also used to enhance observation. This means the children should relate to the things happening in the environment. They are used to sharpen their thinking. Uh, they are used to train in memory because they are going to try, attempt to get the answers. And when they get the answer, that means it sharpens their memory. They are used to boost creativity. They are used for recreation. They are a prelude to storytelling. Maybe when you want to story tell to children, you need something to relax them or to make them think within the environment, we want them to be quiet. So you're going to introduce what? A riddle. Uh, assignment for the students after the lesson, you're going to try to define what is a riddle, explain the steps involved with a riddle, state two functions of a riddle. Uh, our work or our, or our lesson of the day has been derived from Excelling in English, Students Book One, published by the Kenya Literature Bureau. Um, this and much more, you can contact us on our SMS line as posted below. You can also find us on YouTube at Elimo TV. You can as well get us on Facebook at Elimo TV, as well as on Twitter at Elimo underscore K-E. At Elimo TV underscore K-E. Thank you for the lesson. Till next time.